need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. I suppose we agree on that much. I knew that given a chance, your talents would emerge. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. The director's had a rough time, stepping into a job he didn't ask for. I sympathize. Let's give him a chance. As I've said all along, the Pathfinder and I are of one mind. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder... Ugh. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can, Hyperion Medbay. Will do. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible.
Independent Cash reminds everyone all power grid adjustments must be approved beforehand. You've had a year to think about it. It's the Scourge Directive. various parts of the Nexus. Authorities have no word on completion and remind visitors to avoid affected areas. This is HNS. Once we gather a few more colonists, we'll be taking you over to the Nexus. You'll need to clear immigration. This is not... I'll make it right, Dash. I promise. Harry, what's happening with Sarah? Well, we got her out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find her, you might say. I don't follow. Well, she's still in a coma. But she also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. She's okay. Vitals are steady. But I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. No in a coma. Sarah's mental processes remain intact. So, is she okay? You can ask her yourself. A moment while I establish a link with her implant. Proceed. Sarah? Can you hear me? Scott? Is that you? What's happening? Where am I? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma, on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Uh, I think so. Am I dreaming? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. This is so weird. I hear you, but I can't feel anything. Where's Dad? Is he doing okay? He's away on a mission right now. I know he's worried about you, though. <laughs> yeah, I know, Dad. He probably said she'll live and went off to go study some new form of algae. <laughs> it wasn't like that. He cares. <laughs> How many times has he yelled at you so far? Oh, the usual. Well, when he gets back, tell him he needs to stop picking on my little brother. What's home like? Is Habitat 7 as beautiful as they promised? There's been some... complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. Damn. Well, we knew it could get rough. Dad will find us a place to live. Yeah. I'm sure he will. And I should be there helping you guys do it. Well, you were never one to quit, Sarah. A little nap won't hold you back. Hell no, it won't. As soon as I'm up, I'm helping you and Dad find home. You got it. And then... What happened? The connection was only temporary. Her condition remained stable. 
Sorry, it seemed better than nothing. I'll keep you posted, promise. Thanks, Harry. Andromeda, Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. <sighs> I have a pendant to our father war. Dash had its match. Will you... Reunite them. Of course. In his digital journal, he mentioned a spot on Eos where he'd go to think. If you could leave the pendant there. Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger, related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Rider, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. An AI is your answer? <laughs> 